So this is a great little heater. When you uh, when you first turn it on, it starts up in, uh, you'll see the number one mode, which means that's the highest heat setting. And I kind of like the little glowing flame effect. It looks, uh, looks better at night. Um, but if you don't like it, there's just easy button to turn it off. But I dig it, so I'm gonna leave it on. Um, to set it to the lower temperature, you just hit the, uh, there's a button on the remote. It's got like a four diamond shape on it. So now it's in low temp mode. So just for warming instead of high heat, because it definitely throws some heat for being a unit. It's only about 16 inches tall. Uh, it's very compact. Press of a button to get your swivel going back and forth. Does the 180 thing. And a third press of the little diamond button thing there. Four diamonds is on. That's, what I, that's my technical term for it. Um, that'll put it into just fan mode. So that just blows air. So it's, uh, you know... Kind of, I wouldn't call it a powerful fan for summertime, but it definitely would um, would help. You know, can't hurt, and so it's it's pretty decent like that. So, um, and you can set the timer. There's a little timer button on the remote, and of course you can do all that stuff on the display. Obviously, the the H means hours, and that's a handy little feature. So if you know you're you know you're going to bed uh, and you just need a couple hours of warmth. Um, you know, have it automatically switch off, but uh, I'm going to set it back to zero. I don't know why it keeps going to three by itself. Hmm, got to read the manual again. I didn't see anything about that. So I'm going to hit the swivel button and stop it centered and turn the high heat back on. So it's really that easy. I mean, you just, I, the remote's not, um, it's not real. I'd say it's okay. Um, it depends on, you kind of have to hold it at some weird angles sometime the further that you, I'm really close to it right now, so it's it's pretty accurate. But um, I've noticed that, um, you know, five, six feet away, I kind of have to sometimes hit the buttons uh, twice to, to get a response. Maybe I'm just not holding it at the right angle. And uh, the remote itself, it's really thin, and it takes the, um, I don't know if you can going to be able to see that there. Uh, now it's too blurry, um, but it takes a CR2025 battery. Um, they're all over Amazon, very inexpensive. So, um, yeah, um, it's a great little heater so far. I've only used it one day, but it's it's working well. Um, it has the initial, you know, a little bit of a, a plasticky smell out of the box. Not, not burnt, just, you know, that initial break-in odor that's going to go away. Um, and in my photos, you can see that on, on the back, I can't really maneuver this camera around right now. I'm trying to work one-handed here. So, um, But on the back, uh, there, there's a back plate that comes off and uh, a screen, a dust screen. Uh, it's not real fancy. It's not really a filter. It's just a real thin screen, which you can uh, pop the back right off. There's a little little snap on the back. You pop it off, and, and you can rinse the dust out of that screen and dry it. Um, so all in all, but I think it's a really good unit.